Hey guys, my name is Kobe Danny. Welcome to another video. Peace. A little while back, I got sent some filament by LHX. If you haven't checked it out, check it out over there. Go ahead, do it. Are you done? Okay, cool. This is such a unique material, I thought I'd create objects for them, for that specific use. So I started off with the advanced PLA. I thought, oh, let's make something useful, not something that I'll just put on a shelf and it'll just disappear, collect some dust. I'll make something that I could use on an almost day-to-day -day basis. So I'm a big, I'm a big fan of guitar here. I've always loved it. I'm always, play I've, I've, I've always enjoyed playing it. And this is the Guitar Hero Live, the latest Guitar Hero guitar. But the problem is I've got nowhere to put it. It literally sits almost on the floor. So I thought, I've got this lovely big open space here, it would be awesome if I could make a custom rack. The most annoying thing about this guitar is that there's no way to actually put the USB receiver. Uh, I think it was the Guitar Hero 5, you could actually slot it into the back there and look after it when you weren't using it. Now this could easily get misplaced. So the guitar rack that I built, I thought about that as well. So with that, I had to keep that in mind. So let's check out how I put this together. This will be a simple time lapse. I use basic SolidWorks commands to actually build this. And let's check it out. Now that the model's made, ready to slice, let's check out how it prints. Yeah. 
Now, the reason why I printed this in two parts instead of one thing like that is that if you're printing upright like that, the layers make this a lot weaker so they could snap off easily with the weight of the guitar. So I printed this, that, which is, it's structurally strong better that way. And this base plate like that. Obviously at the back here, you can see I made a space. So these two pieces fit together like that. And they just screws in through there and there. That bottom hole goes through the bottom peg as well. And then your USB fits behind there. So let's put this on. All right, so I'm gonna basically drill these screws. Right? these screws into here with this here because this is just chipboard um, these should go in fairly easily so I'm gonna first screw them into here completely and then into there so oops if I go the right way right have enough just to show the tip <laughs> You're happy with it get your position right That's just my Ron Burgundy bobblehead. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. Good evening, I'm Ron Burgundy and this is what's happening in your world tonight. You stay classy, San Diego. I love scotch. I love scotch. Scotch has got scotch. Here it goes down. Down into my belly. Well, that was fun. I don't know how to put this, but that's him. Kind of a big deal. All right, let's see. There you can see how it holds the stand drill nicely. And then this little USB drive can just slot nicely in there because it has the, that. It's easy to grab. Nice and out of the way. And it hangs up real nicely so that's the, the stand complete um, a very cool simple project something that's actually useful if I ever want to go and jam all I need to do is grab real fair with that um, I use the advanced PLA from Allergex that they sent me um, printing it about 210 degrees on the Prusa i3. Um, I will do a comparison video of all the four different materials that they sent me and um, check out the previous video of where I actually spoke about a little bit about the materials. Um, a link to the download for this file will be in the description below. If you really like this video and you want to see more of it please like, share and subscribe to this video and we'll see you in the next one. Have fun. Mm -hmm.